Hi and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Here I'm going to have a look at three MIDI tips that should help you if you don't know these tips already. But before I jump in, like, subscribe to the channel. That always helps, keeps me going, keeps me motivated. So anyway, let's jump straight into this. And here I have a bass line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three production tips. How to have the same velocity on all the notes here. So you see the notes are different velocity here, the same length for each note and how to join up the notes so they touch each note is equal to the, the next note. So if you want everything to be joined but not overlapping, so I'll show you that trick as well. So the first one is pretty easy. You go here up to this tab here, the automation tab, and you'll see that the velocity comes up here. Just select all of these either by selecting them here or just doing command A. Then you just bring up the velocity and that gives us the maximum velocity for the, the notes and you can hear here. Then you can bring all them down. Right down if you want. Which changes the bass sound quite considerably. Or you can just go back to the way it was before and have it like with varied uh, velocity. Also, of course, here, if you want to just change one note, sorry, one note like this, you can do that. If that's too loud there, so that one was green, uh, was red, now it's down to green. So this one here, you want to change it down. So there, so there you have it. So that's how you do the velocity. Uh, now let's have a look at how to uh, have the same length of each note. So that's quite easy to do as well. Let's just select everything. Come out of this here and go to functions this time functions into midi transform right and then i'm going to fixed note length right and uh, we go to normally this should be on fixed here okay so let's just do this select operate this will bring it up to fixed and they will all be the same length there then you can adjust that that was quite a long fixed length usually i think it's a bit shorter than that I'd, I've been playing around with it. So this will give you a fixed length. So then it's gives you a, just a different feel to it. You can go. If we bring all the uh, velocity up, then you hear that bit better. So. Then. you have the fixed note length so let's go back to the way it was before now let's do a trick where we can have all the notes linked up to each other so let's select them all again and we go into edit trim a note end to following notes force legato right so do that and that will now stick it to the end of the beginning of, of the next note so that will here you can see that will finish at the beginning here etc and so on. So that would be all joined together. That's really useful for chords. So if you've got a load of MIDI chords playing and they're not quite touching at the end and stuff like that, you can get more to line up at the ends of each, each chord without using the sustain pedal, uh, which is pretty practical. And that's uh, practical if you want the notes to be joined up. So there you have those three tips that are pretty quick and easy to do. I hope that helped you. If it did, like, subscribe again and leave some comments and I will see you soon. Ciao.